Hi everyone, I'm Tim and you are watching Game Dev Bits. So we are here with another short, fast, sharp video, so let's jump straight into it. Actually, before we do, just remember, a huge thanks to my patrons, without whom none of this would be possible. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Alright, now, let's get into it. So today, what we're going to do is have a look at colliders, and a way that you can make your meshes collide in exactly the way that you want, without using something expensive like a mesh collider. Mesh colliders take a, a fair bit of GPU and CPU to run, so let's do it without them. What we have here is a bus stop that has come from Cinti Studios Polygon City, and as you can see, it comes with a built-in mesh collider that neatly wraps around the top and actually fills in across the inside of our bus stop. So to see exactly how that looks, let's turn on this particle system that we have created earlier. Turn him up. And you can see our particles bouncing off the front of that mesh collider. So, particles off. And now, let's create some colliders. So the first thing we'll do is we'll disable our mesh colliders. Then, let's add a box. Edit the properties. There's our first one, all done. There's number two. There's three. There's four. There's five. And there's six. Let's stop editing the colliders, grab our particle system again, and let's turn it back on. And now, our particles are bouncing off our entire mesh. And now with just six box colliders, we've recreated the shape of our object with perfect collision and it'll be incredibly fast to run. That's all for now. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in.